Hi, I'm psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini. Welcome to Renovating Relationships. Today's hot topic is called Six Ways to Fight Fair. Fighting fair is important in every relationship in your life, basically. The number one reason for divorces or breakup is communication. And within communication, the number one reason for splitting is due to an inability to fight things out, to work things out, to resolve conflict. I'm going to give you six easy steps to fight fair. Now, this is the thing. Knowing these are important, but practicing them every day for every conflict you have is going to help you rather than lash out or get defensive in your next argument to take a breath, to step back, and to go through the steps because they're easy, they're not time consuming, and it's simply a different way to look at the issue and it really does work. So, the number one thing is I want you to start saying I statements. Now, what are I statements? Our I statements are basically when you start telling your partner or whoever you're talking with in a conflict your side. You're basically saying, I feel this. So, in other words, it would look something like this if I were to do it. I feel that when, you, that when we start talking about this, I get worried, or I feel overwhelmed, or I feel guilty, or I feel sad. Whatever is going on in you is what you start talking about. Now, why do I want you to do this? There is a real important reason in here, and that is when you have a conflict with someone, what usually ends up happening yeah, you usually start saying you. You make me do this. You do this. You never do this. You always do this. And when you do that, you automatically make your partner defensive. They close down or they fight back. And the, and the small conflict, what used to be small, turns into a huge unresolvable issue. You don't want to do that anymore. Secondly, I want you to stay open. By, by saying that, what I'm saying to you is don't, don't think of anything as black or white. In other words, there's more ways to resolve an issue than your way. If it has to be your way, you're going to end up being in a lot of conflicts and you're not going to have very much success in relationships. Thirdly, when you get married or you're dating someone, I want you to think of that partner as a team. That means this person's on my team. This person's my helper. We're going to succeed together or we're going to fall apart. When you watch a football game or baseball or whatever you, game you're watching, the team itself has the spirit. You don't start seeing different team members beating each other up when things are going badly. They help. They throw a ball. They pass. That's what I want you to do in your relationship. So if you're on the same team, then quit beating up your partner for, for what their part is. Claiming your own and working together is going to get you where you want to go. Fourthly, take a time out. When you come in to see a therapist, when my clients come to see me, many times the issue they fight about in my office is something that's been going on for years. Okay? Research says that within the first five minutes, you know where the argument is going. So within that first five minutes, if you can feel yourself getting angry or you can feel yourself losing control, I want you to develop as a team, as a couple, a timeout signal. It can be something simple, something like this, something like this, something like this, whatever it is. What's important is that your partner honors it. This means when you call a timeout that I'm getting upset, I don't see us resolving anything, I'm starting to feel anger toward you, um, let's pick it up at a later time. And that's exactly what I want you to do. It's okay to walk away from an unresolvable issue and pick it up at a later time. Fifth, it is okay to go to bed angry. You don't have to make up. You don't have to kiss your partner goodnight. In fact, 
going to bed angry many times has beneficial results in that when you wake up in the morning, you're no longer angry. Or wherever you were yesterday, you're not there today. The fight or conflict is essentially resolved in your sleep. You know, a lot of conflict is due to leftover stress that we have in other areas. And taking a break, whether it's through sleep or going to work and leaving for the day, many times those are the solutions. Those are the ways for you to kind of come back down and for your mind to resolve some of that leftover tension. Lastly, and probably the most important, is that you remember you are mentoring for your children how to discuss and resolve issues in a healthy way. If you resolve conflict well, it's probably because you had parents who modeled healthy resolving of issues. When I see couples and they're like, shh, let's take it in the other room, that's not what you want to do. You tell your kids all the time, go settle it with your brother or go settle it with your sister. Yet you won't settle what you have going with your spouse in front of them. Remember, I'm saying I don't want you to argue more than five minutes in front of them. If it's more than five minutes, it's going nowhere and you should probably give the time out signal then. But I do want your kids to understand that you can disagree with someone you love. That you don't, mom and dad don't always agree. Mom and dad don't always, you know, aren't always on the same line of thinking. But they resolved their issues through the year. That's healthy communication. I really hope today has helped you. And it's going to. But only if you practice. Because practice makes perfect. Remember, the whole mission here is to fix the things within yourself work on your relationship together rather than just throw it out or throw your hands up in the air. You, you are your own story. You are creating your own relationship. And when it's broken, you can fix it. Join me on Twitter at Mary Jo Rapini. Write to me a message on Facebook, facebook.com Mary Jo Rapini. Or more importantly, go to my website, maryjorapini.com because I have a lot of free help on there. I have books. I have other things that I think can help you. And stay tuned for another hot topic next week on Renovating Relationships. Have a wonderful week and fight fair. Mary Joan Rapini, signing off.